and all the suffering indigenous populations and the damnable zoological republic are set free. Chine ke nan ke plumi yani ne chuko kika bamba yani ne fugu na jah hanso yaman beni ne. Onyo bana ni yana achi. Eli gano wana wake bi hona nyagi ne prega mragi no miko ge bende ge ne se bedengosi. Ani we ne toi. Abu ne gatu matu joni ne kendi ro. Iwe nyanya nyanya ndo la kadi nuwe dono botin keta. Ani we na se ne jamani no toni ne dra hanso ge. Onyo bana ni aki kiri ne no badra kaya. Ani we na okuri, na sige na kama mani ge kelegi kujua mani kelegi. Ani we na jagema, we ne toy we na soproge. Ni siu mugi ni nebundi kuni we zoe kumwa poroha. Kaha we chekwa alansa kubi bia flonye umna chine kene ili kurani yangu. No meka taka kandi uno we wala alansa bia flonye umna chine kene na kebini uwe. Abu ne gatu matoto joni na kendi uno. Mande na abu mo bebe ni ne di chicho yangu na chine kene. Ni hine bun kendi de tu ano botin keta. Ani we ne toy. We na si wanyi wanyi na chine kena nke prumi yeni ne. Onyo bo nani ya na zopota. Onyo bo nani ya bo opu ya ni ne bu ye na amen. Anji we na aseze bu pede nkosi. Naroto to ne jamma na un soporo. Si te ne bigebi maro ne bigebi. Ise. 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 Hello dear friends, thank you for joining, share the video as you join, any place you're joining from, please share the video, share, 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 share the video as you're joining the platform, you share the video, share in your WhatsApp group, your family group, keep sharing, you know what we are here to do is to create awareness and let people know what is actually going on and uh contraption call in Nigeria. so keep sharing share in your own platform whatever platform you have any platform you have just share it on your whatsapp group you can share on your whatsapp group you can share on your family group you can share to family and friends remember today is monday a day we all see it at home the day we have agreed to be a day of sit at home to speak up for our Supreme Leader Mazen Nandekano and ask for his unconditional release. We continue to make that request until our request is being heard. They try to talk us down out of it. They try to discourage us from making the legitimate demand of our freedom, but we're gonna, not going to stop. We're not going to stop. They are trying to stop us by all means possible. They are trying. Let them keep trying, but we'll never stop. We'll never stop. As you all know, the struggle for the restoration of Biafra and the freedom of Mazen kind of have taken a different dimension. We are increasing in our intensity. As the Janja weed is increasing in their own strategy, we will continue to increase our own intensity. They try to keep away our Supreme Mazen Nani kind of from us to know what we are going to do. But of course, as Biafrans, we are going to shock them. We are going to come from the direction that they will not respect. And if they think that they are going to stop us, or they are going to shut us down and make us not to say what we want to say, they have just made the wrong move. That means they don't know what they are doing. Because those of us who are genuinely asking for the freedom of the Biafran people, we know what we want and we will continue to make our demands. No matter what the enemy has to say, no matter what they have to do, we will continue to make our demands. We will not stop. We won't stop. They are trying by all means to stop us from making the demands. They try by all means to shut us down. They use their blackmail and propaganda against us. They plant, plant their moles among us. But yet, we are still standing firm. Standing and speaking up for the indigenous people. 
they can't stop us no matter how they try they cannot stop us they are trying trying everything they can to see that they stop us from having our freedom trying everything they can to see that they distract us from demanding that which is right but Biafran people have refused to be distracted that is why most of us we are still standing and asking for the unconditional release of Mazen Nandikano. And today, being Monday, is another day that Biafrans are sitting at home against all odds, against all propaganda. We are still sitting at home. Chuko Kukabiyama has now given the Biafrans right to demand for their freedom. We are not waiting on anybody to give any command. We are not hoping on anybody. Our hope and trust is on ourselves. Our hope and trust is on Chuko Kukabiyama. Mazen Nandekano have laid a foundation that we will follow. So, why are you waiting? What are you still waiting for? What are you still waiting for? The key is there. Mazen Nandekano gave us the key. How we can be able to get our freedom. He gave us the key. So, why will somebody somewhere be saying that he or she doesn't know what to do or where to go? It's only those who have chosen to deceive themselves. But those of us who are sincerely asking for the freedom of the people legitimately demanding for self-determination which is the right of every human we will continue to do so until biafra comes yes we will continue to do so today is 28th the last day of the moon and a new dimension is going to kick off it has kicked up already, not just going to kick up, the new dimension has kicked up. Chuko Kukabiyama have raised people to pilot the struggle. Chuko Kukabiyama have chosen people he will speak to. So it's left for you to listen carefully and follow. But for those who are still saying that they are confused, they don't know where to go or where to follow, well, I don't know why anybody should be confused about the situation now. Nobody should be confused. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what you believe. It doesn't matter the angle you are coming from. It doesn't matter the angle you have chosen to follow. The truth remains the truth. Your ignorance cannot change the truth. Your lies and blackmail cannot equal change the truth. Because the truth remains the truth. That people have the right, the legitimate right to ask for their self-determination and for their freedom. And that is what we are doing. So when we ask people to speak up and stand up, it is the right, the right thing to ask for. Our freedom is in our hand. Nobody is going to give us our freedom in a platter of gold. And we are not expecting anything of such. Anybody that is expecting freedom to come from, from the blues, you are a time waster and you are part of the deceivers and the distractors. So the earlier you stop distracting people, the better for you. Okay? That is why most of the time you see Biafran standing up, speaking up against all odds, against all the attacks, against all the temptations, against all the hindrances. Biafran are still standing up, standing up very, very strong and speaking up. They want to shut us down by using their blackmail and propaganda. You see blackmail coming from all corners, from all angles. But I thank Chuku Kukabiyama that today, Biafran people who are in Biafra land, they still know what is right and they are following what is right. Against all odds, some people have turned themselves a willing tool in the hand of the enemy. They have turned themselves a willing tool in the hand of the enemy and you can see them fighting against what they are supposed to support, speaking against something they are supposed to support. So how will anybody support such kind of a thing? How will anybody in this planet support such kind of a thing? It's only those who have lost their conscience. Those of us who have lost our conscience, instead of supporting that which is good, we are supporting evil. Today, the truth has been much clearer than it is before. Very, very much clearer than it was in the past. But what baffles me is that even with the fact that the truth is much clearer than before, you still see some people who pretend not to know that which is truth. 
some people are still hiding under some some disguise pretending not to know that which is right maybe because of their salary or because of what they will eat or because of uh, one interest or the other but that is not going to change anything it's not going to change anything it's, it will never ever change anything no matter how you try to change it it's not going to change it the situation remains the same the only thing that is going to change the situation is that when we continue to do the right thing and stand, stand on the truth the truth, the foundation of truth has been laid already for you and I. Mazen Nande Kano laid the foundation of truth. And if you only believe on that truth and follow it, that is the only way we can be able to recover from what is happening. There is no way you can recover from what is happening except from you listening to that which is truth and pursue it. Anybody in his or her senses today that pretends not to know the truth or not to know who is right and who is wrong, you are part of the enemy. That is the simple truth. It doesn't matter what you think, it doesn't matter what you believe, it doesn't matter how you try to look at it. It remains the truth and nothing but the truth. So, I urge every Biafran wherever you are in Biafra land, continue to sit at home and be resolute. Sit at home more than ever. Only we can free ourselves from captivity. Nobody whatsoever can free us. Nobody can free us from captivity. Nobody. No man, no woman anywhere can free us. It is you, the Biafran people, that will free yourself. If you don't free yourself, you will remain in captivity forever. And nobody's going to fight for you. If you think that somebody somewhere is going to fight for you all of a sudden, okay, you're wasting your time. That's why I tell people to look at what is happening in Ukraine today. When you look at Ukraine, look closely to Ukraine and see what is happening in Ukraine. When you see what is happening in Ukraine, you will find out that it's a lesson to those of us who are dear friends. What is happening in Ukraine? Ukraine without the connections and all the promises that people are making. It's just only talk. They talk and talk and talk and they sit back. Today you can see Ukraine are on their own defending themselves. Ukraine are on their own defending themselves. Nobody can fight for them. Nobody dares come on the ground to fight for them. It is only we that will fight for ourselves on the ground. As much as the noise we are making on the social media, it is very important for the world to know the situation. If they like, let them hear. If they don't want, it's up to them. But when it comes to action, if it's you and I, the citizens of Biafra, we are the ones that are going to take actions to set ourselves free from the captivity. It is only you and I that can take action. If you don't take action, nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody. Nobody anywhere is going to take action for you. So for those of you who are still waiting and thinking somehow, somehow, that the United Nations or the international community is going to come and help you. That is a waste of energy and waste of time. Don't wait on any international community. Do not wait on any United Nations. Don't wait on anybody to come and fight for you. It is you that will defend your territory. You have to defend your territory. Chiku Kukabiyama have given us that strength, given us that knowledge to defend ourselves by all means possible. If you refuse to defend yourself, you get yourself to be blamed. Don't blame anybody. You don't have to blame anybody about it. Blame yourself. Blame yourself. That is why each time we come online, we call for massive civil disobedience. The sit at home that is being called on Sunday and on Monday, let us hold to it and hold it strong. Intensify in it, participate in it, make it stronger than it has ever been. Don't joke with it. And if you're one of those who are discouraging those who are sitting at home, we know you are the enemy. Yes, you are. And Chiku Kabiyama is not going to forgive you. No matter how you try to play your games, no matter how you try to lie to deceive people, every of your lie has been destroyed. Your blackmail has been destroyed. Those who have given themselves as a willing tool to the ginger weed, whom the ginger weed is using to oppress us and keep us down. We have known them. We have known them. It is much more clearer now than before. If you are a Biafran and now you don't know who your enemy is, you are deceiving yourself. And it is possible that you yourself is an enemy. There is no single Biafran today that doesn't know who the real enemy are. We know whom the real enemies are. We know them by their names, by their actions, by what they do. On daily basis is not hidden. So, if anybody somewhere is still pretending, 
saying that he doesn't know that which is right and that which is wrong. He don't know where to follow. You are the worst enemy of the Biafran people. It is high time we stand up and speak up, defend our territory. In the new dimension, it is time for us to defend our territory. Defend your territory. Nobody's going to defend it. Look at Ukraine today. Ukraine is fighting for their life. Ukraine is fighting for their life. The rich, the poor, the wealthy. They are all there fighting for their life. Doing the needful. But when it comes to this case of Biafra, you find out that those who claim to be wealthy, they feel less concerned. Those who claim to be rich, they feel less concerned. Those who claim to be connected and elite in Biafra land, they feel less concerned. But look at Ukraine. Ukraine, their billionaires are fighting along with them. The president pick up arms. Everybody is on it. They are fighting to set their people free. But when it comes to the issue of Biafra struggle, people do not talk. Some people feel they are not concerned because somehow they feel that they are connected. Somehow they feel that their bills are being paid. Somehow they feel that things are okay with them. How long shall we continue to listen to such kind of garbage? We can continue to wait for them. For those of us who know that our life is at risk, it's a matter of life and death when it comes to the issue of Biafra. It's a matter of life and death. And the Janjaweed, they are not ready to spare any one of us. They want to take our life if they have the opportunity. They are going to do it. They don't want us anywhere around them. They don't pretend about it. They say it openly. That is why they have to fight against everything that represents us, including our own dress, including our mode of dressing. They are scared of it. They don't want to have anything to do with our mode of dressing. They don't want to do anything to do with our personality. They don't want to do anything with our appearance. And some people think it's normal. It is not normal. It's not normal. That is why everybody has to stand up and speak up. Stand up and speak up and fight like never before. This fight is a fight of life and death. Freedom doesn't come cheap. If you think that freedom comes cheap, it doesn't come cheap. It comes with a big price. And if you are not ready to pay the price for freedom, then forget about freedom. Freedom is not just you just talk on your, by your mouth, just by saying it, and then you get it. No, you have to walk towards it, fight for it, take it. It is not going to be given to you. Let us stop waiting for the court of the oppressor to free Mazen Nandekano. It is you and I that will free Mazen Nandekano. And I must say, I thank every Biafran person in Biafra land. The Biafran people in Biafra land are formidable. Against all odds, against all the attack, against all the temptation, against all the hindrances, they are still standing at home fully. Their friends are standing at home. They are fighting on different front. They are sitting at home to make sure that their voice is being heard. I appreciate every Biafran person that is making this sacrifice across the world. I say, may Chukwu Kukabi and guide and protect you wherever you are. May Chukwu Kukabi and guide and secure you. May Chukwu Kukabi and continue to protect you and secure you in all your angles. It's not a small thing, it's not a small thing, it's not a small task. It's a very big task that every one of us have to follow. Our brothers and sisters are paying a great price. They are paying a huge price to make us free. And we have to support them the best way we can. How are you going to support? Add your own little quota. Support by sharing the video to all people. Encourage them to see it at home. Support the best way you can. In the level that we are in now. You can see that the Biafran people have lost confidence in the so-called leadership of IPOB, the DOS. They have lost it. And they have been voted out. Chukwu Kukabiyama is now in charge, giving others through his own children. Information will be coming from Chukwu Kukabiyama. And Chukwu Kukabiyama cannot speak from heaven. He is going to speak through men. And there are so many men he's going to use to speak to Biafran people. What we have to do is to continue to listen and hear when he speaks. That is where we can be able to overcome all the challenges. We can be able to overcome all the challenges and all the trials. 
So never give up. Never give up your strength. Never give up your power. Keep on fighting the best way you can. We shall overcome. Of course we will. But it's not going to come easy. It's not going to come easy. So far so good, Biafrans are doing very well. Biafrans, the South South, the South East and the Lower Benue, every one of us, our hand has to be on deck to free ourselves from the captivity of the enemy, free ourselves from the net of the Janjaweed. Nobody's going to do it for you and I. Nobody's going to do it. If you think that somebody's going to do it for you, that's a waste of time and energy. Just look at what is happening in Ukraine. Look at the Ukraine situation. When you look at the Ukraine situation, you will now discover that the world is playing a, a certain standard. When you look at the Ukraine situation, you know that what, the role the world is playing, the world is structured in a way that you have to defend yourself. You and you alone will defend yourself. Nobody's going to fight for you. If you refuse to stand up, to speak up, nobody's going to do it for you. You can only get sight of people will be from the side, giving their, their opinion from the side, saying everything they want to say from the side. But when it comes to action, nobody's going to come on ground. Today you see Ukraine. They are fighting their battle, defending themselves. They are not waiting on anybody. With all the meetings that are being held all over the world, you see the Security Council coming together. You saw the United Nations coming together, EU coming together, other places coming together. But at the end of the day, none of them is on the ground to fight for them. It's only verbal talk. It's only verbal talk after talking and there is no action in it. What does that tell you? It tells you that only you and you alone can free yourself. And that is why we have to wake up from our sleep, wake up from our slumber, and take charge of our situation. We have to take charge. Nobody can fight the fight for us except we do so. We have to fight this battle. It's a matter of life and death. And only you and you alone can free yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining. I will come back again later in the day for more program. This program is just to encourage our brothers and sisters in Nigeria who are sitting at home. Chuko Kukabiyama will guide and protect you. Chuko Kukabiyama will secure you. Chuko Kukabiyama will provide for you. You will never lose your life. You will not only see Biafra, you will walk into Biafra with your foot and you will celebrate in Biafra land. Chuko Kukabiyama is in charge of our situation and we shall overcome. No matter the attack they bring from us, no matter where the attack is coming from, we shall overcome because we are the chosen people. We are the chosen people. We didn't choose ourselves. Chuko Kukabiyama chose us and gave us the assignment and that is why we are standing tall and fighting strong fighting and making sure that we got our freedom they try to deny us our freedom they try to stop us but we cannot allow it to happen it doesn't matter how they try it doesn't matter how they try to oppress us it doesn't matter how they try to change the narrative we will not allow them to overcome us that is why we come online on daily basis to encourage those who are in nigeria those are Biafran brothers who have found themselves captive in the country of Korn, Nigeria. Those who are living in Biafra land that is occupation in the hand of Nigeria. We encourage you to continue to do the needful. Continue to do what you are doing. Chuko Kabiyama is seeing you and he will continue to stand for you and fight for you. No man born of a woman can stop the coming of Biafra. No man born of a woman can stop the freedom of Mazen Nandikano. He must be free and very soon. No matter the propaganda they bring, no matter the attack, it doesn't matter what they do. Even if you yourself refuse to fight for Mazen Nandikano, Chuku Kukabian will free him. But I know that Biafran people are standing with Mazen Nandikano, 101% standing with him. That is why they are sitting at home today. They are sitting at home. No matter how the government tries to stop them with their military force and their informants, Biafrans are still sitting at home, willingly on their own to demand for the unconditional release of Martin Nandekano his freedom and he will definitely be free very soon. Thank you so much for watching and see you again later in the evening. Remember us. Bye bye. See you.
Thank you.